Fuck, guys. Hello. We yeah, got off junk. Oh my god, you are. Mm. What's the R called? Zero lives. Or zero lives. Who knows? It's up to interpretation. <laughs> Wait, who's on notes? Like Hollow Live? So, Hollow Live? Lucky you guys. Uh, it's a new arc, so we get to describe all our characters again as you guys travel yeah. through the Astral Sea. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Um, is Hollow Live VTubers or is that something else? That's VTubers, but let's, stay on. let's just do D&D &D yeah. since we're running very behind. Oh yes. Okay. Hi, I'm I'm a hey, VTuber. Um. So, what you guys have left? Uh, just left uh, Junktown mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on t t the day two sixty eight. Oh. As you head through the Astral Sea. Nice. Um. What do each of you do during this journey? And please describe your characters. All right. We're gonna start with the actual VTuber <laughs> Ryan. Uh, oh damn! Nah, nah, I didn't know. We were, I didn't know we were, we were volunteering. Um. Uh. So um. Hello. My, I am Kuro Karasu. Kuro, get it? Kuro, 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 Kuro. Yeah, okay. Um. I. I am um a black-haired Tengu. Um. I have long hair or a ponytail, depending on what day it is. Uh. I um. I have black wings. Two black wings, as a bird does. I have a um a fan of Tengu feathers, which is very cool. And um. I wear um. Like traditional Japanese clothing, and yeah, um, I have a pet named Bombathy, and I'm currently infusing the one K Ruby we've got with Bombathy to upgrade him. Satch, can we have that ready yet? Or yep, yep. And can I introduce the uh, new Bombathy? Or um, do you want to do it now? Uh, do or we can make you a better time for it. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, okay, I'll introduce new Bombathy now. Um, I have, after infusing the two. Rubies together. I have made. Uh, I don't know, damage. I have made the Bomber Pulp, which is uh, if you zoom in, it is the original small Bomber C who is sitting on top of the bigger, the Bomber Doll. You know, like and together they make the Bomber Pulp. Wow. And yeah, that's 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 what that's what my character's doing. Dick. Hell yeah. Next we have. Avery, played by Will. I don't cheat by the way, Tyson. Hmm? Avery? Sure. Where's Avery? In the probably in the captain's chair? Uh, yeah, most most of the time. Somebody's gotta steer the mighty echo. Uh, Avery is um, uh, dressed up as a pirate, mostly for cosplay. Um, is a is a is an elf with green hair and potentially green skin uh, who looks uh, <laughs> looks suspiciously like one of the Olsen twins and uh, has many great magical powers um, and then I had some ideas about what uh, Avery was doing during the trip, but uh, we can leave that to after everyone else introduces juices themselves, maybe. Perfect. Next we have Monk. All right, so we've got Monk E King. We're a monkey dude. Um, we're at right monk now, at the moment. Well, well, Monk is in his room scribbling in a new notebook. Um, so, wait, what day is it? Day 268. Mm -hmm. And what day did I get find out that I was a wear rat? 264, probably. 264. So it's day four of trying out new recipes involving ground up silver coins. <laughs> um, day one, we just tried it raw by itself. It doesn't seem to pair well with bread. Jam makes it marginally better, but it still tastes like silver coins. Um, we focused on day two, learning how to sterilize the ground up powder because money is dirty. Um, right now we're just going with boiling it after the process and then straining it out and leaving it in the sun to dry. Um, and yeah, we've started incorporating it into baked goods. It is noticeable and <laughs> it, it stains my mouth and it's 
it's horrible. But hey, it, it, it I'm I'm not full wear rat yet, so it's all good. Uh, is your tribe character? Um, I'm a monkey man. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a full like chimpanzee with a tail, um, wearing sort of like bounty hunter, like space bounty hunter sort of outfit. Yep. Red Ace of Clubs. Okay, who is next? I think last but certainly not least, we have Blair, played by Isabel. Also not last. <laughs> Hello, I am Blair. I am a barbarian. I am a member of the Reed family who um, builds ships. Um, and that's still all. There's nothing particularly special about them. Haha. Uh -huh. um, and I am also a ghost because I got murdered very <laughs> suddenly and violently. Um, it was very graphic and gruesome mm -hmm. um, in the first episode. So I'm a ghost. I float around and I do ghostly things and never sleep. Uh, what, and I try is... to fix things as a mechanic. What is Blair doing at this moment? Um, probably writing. No, probably just chilling. Just chilling. Wandering around. There's a lot of time to kill when you're a ghost and you can't sleep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now, one and a very important member of the crew, Goran, is probably chilling in his room. He's a dwarf, big beard, he's got a bandana on. Just doodling, just drawing some swords in his book. Um, he's recently achieved, uh, got, got another ingredient of, sorry, material used to forge a really good sword. Looking yeah. forward to it. He's got some more ideas after his battle. And, and yeah. as of last episode, we celebrate Goran's second level in Blade Dancer. <laughs> yeah. Now, Grant Man. Grant Man, where to start about Grant Man? I thought you Will, I thought you'd do like a wrap it up. <laughs> um That's that's Grant enough man. of the introductions. Moving on. Cut him out. Music fade it down. Grant Mann is a man. He is a mathematics teacher from Episteme. He wears a nice button shirt, sweater over the top of it, plaid trousers, he has a skateboard, and uh, a piece of chalk that glows slightly. Grant Mann currently will be in the captain's quarters just living it up with avery um but also just making sure we're on track logging all the uh keeping keeping sort of the astral cartography in lock yep he was not found on any particular flight logs in case any members of the party are interested speaking hey uh, speaking of um, Grant and Avery, though, I had a question or, a, or an idea. Um, but during the journey, even though it might not lead anywhere, um, Avery would like to to probably with probably with Grant mm -hmm. try to see if we can pull out our research um abilities on our notes um and see if we can uh, come up with avery being a herbalist background uh come up with a, a potion or something to try and uh remove monk's curse without Ooh. necessarily needing to see someone okay give me grant probably arcana avery i, I want to say <laughs> medicine um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will enhance my ability. Also, who spent the uh, spell slot to be able to communicate today? Um, uh, first level spell slot? Yep. Yeah, I'll cop it. Cool. Um, so, at advantage, that is 17. 17, okay. And medicine... Also 17. Hey! Listen, you guys are like, okay. Um, I think part of it is really hard because you can't go research things. You know, you're stuck on a ship with what you've got. 
Yeah. So it's like, okay, we want to know, learn more about this, but we don't have a way of doing so. Um, but, you know, you go sort of start getting like an idea of what could go into something to, you know, cure uh, lycanthropy, but also it's not tested. You don't, you don't, you'd probably go, okay, this might work, but it's also, you know, we don't know if it'll work fully. So unless you want to test it on Monk, um, you know, oh, who knows? We can, we can totally do that. Don't you, down, you and reset down. Him? <laughs> Can't you set and reset him? Like, what if you give him, like, diabetes or something? Take him back. So true. I could set and reset him. We have nothing but time. It's like we're on fucking Apollo 11 right now. This is true. This is day one. We set and reset. Could I eat a silver coin in solidarity? <laughs> this is way I think awful. if you eat a silver coin... Oh, four also. That's 20. You become corporeal. Yeah. You become corporeal or silvorial? <laughs> Here's the thing. There's like, silver is kind of inherently a little bit divine. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's really Wait. misty. So <laughs> should, I think it's... You can, you can probably eat it, but it does sting a little. So oh, and I'll you feel that. it as it oh, like slows, slowly moves its way through your body. Is it spicy? I'm surprised I could eat it. I thought it would pass through me, but I guess if it's yeah, still can't eat normal food, thing, it's not food, so <laughs> yeah. So I think she's I'm getting. Sorry. I just food pass through me. This is so unfair. What if? What if? What's so special a... about food that it doesn't? That you know, it goes right through me. Food is sacred. I literally have religious texts about this. <laughs> I think that's a very good point, though, Blair. What if I use like I pick up like a hot dog or something and make an attack roll against you with it? Will that? He, and if I, it hits your mouth, do you get to eat it? Maybe I pick do, something do less hot dog shaped. Dog what if I'm trying to poison Blair with a five course meal? <laughs> <laughs> then, you, you, I mean, if you want to all test this, you can uh, take the time and. Got so many things to test now. Then the res <laughs> re resources to do so. Oh, what's happened? I. I'm just very interested in the science behind my ghostliness sometimes. Yeah, that, that I mean that makes sense. Alright. But also, um, I'm happy to rain check this for another day. I've broken my character sheet and now it the the bit where I can minimize it is larger th is at the top of my screen. And oh I the other bit I... where I can open it and close it is covered because it's on the right hand side of my screen. <laughs> Uh, do you use, do you use the um the uh, do you use pop out or do you just <laughs> I ha I'm going to now I, did I figure out <laughs> it's just <laughs> I'll sort this out <laughs> yeah okay um big event happens about what you leave that one eleven days. After traveling on we have the a birthday on day two seventy nine is Astral Day. Astral Day, a holiday uh, in all of the um, Astral Sea, yeah. where you know you get together with friends and family and eat and drink. Hell yeah! If Goran's not on the clue, he's going overboard. <laughs> <laughs> now we can we have like a feast. Can we make it like a big old, big old banquet? Have everyone here, talk some shit, eat some food. Oh no! Hell yeah! I. Oh, do you know what? I never thought about this, but I guess I could help you in the kitchen, monk. Because like, you work. You've got a dish. You finish a dish. Just throw it in the air. I fucking give it some of the zhuzh. It's clean, and we just fucking keep it cycling in. Um, I've made sure Monk always has company in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Like right, it just keeps calling me a rat. It yeah, just right? keeps calling me a rat. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Yeah, monkeys are a rat. <laughs> was there another flower that was sentient? Uh, oh, yeah, there's, I there's feeling. Um, there should be. I 
don't know where the I don't know if we know where they went. Was it a grain? This is where, like, at the end of the episode, it cuts to like the fucking the fucking barley or whatever, and it like looks up at the tyrant and is like, "I found where they are," and then it, like <laughs> it cuts away. <laughs> they they were existent and now I guess not. I think they I think we set them free and they went off mm. to explore the world on their own. Yeah, we freed them of their mortal coil, and they'll come back in like a year, in game time, probably about a decade real life, and they'll be like. <laughs> hey, I've got this yeah, for you. Sword. <laughs> yeah, he's the 14th general. <laughs> yeah. 14. 14. <laughs> yeah, in that time, we've just found another six. <laughs> what we thought was one general is just like the set of throwing knives that actually each individually generals. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. like um, like the in Dark Souls 3, that one boss fight where it's just a bunch of dudes. We should probably explain um, the mission. The, the mission. whole reason you guys were together. To get the One Piece. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that. that was the original yeah. mission, but we have pivoted a little bit. Yes. Pivoted a little bit. It's not real. We need to say one of our team members, Blair, through gross negligence, broke a sword containing an ancient entity, the Tyrant. I like to imagine Grandman has written this document sword. up. Like, this is his, like, testimony. <laughs> In court. <laughs> when, it, when this all goes to court. Like, it's yeah, like, we've, we've, we've called a, like, we've asked an expert to give their, like, to give their professional advice on the ruling here. And so, and so, with a name like the Tyrant, you think she'd be a little bit more careful, but that's neither here nor there. So, we need to now replicate the sword that was used to seal him under the mountain. Uh, Give that to a god to wield it to strike the tyrant down. Um, I assume after we soften him up. And then we have to keep him. Currently our plan is to put him under a different mountain or the same mountain and just mountain him up. Um, but we're also looking for other ideas because the book that we read it in specifically said, hey, this is what we did. If you can do something better, please do it. And I feel like in terms of documentation, that's probably one of the last ones you want to see. I mean, they go, this is what we did, and then the fact that it didn't work forever is going, oh, maybe we should try something else, possibly, or yeah, we just... maybe we should. Or you just do it and like, you get a couple thousand more years, who knows. <laughs> hey, that's, that's <laughs> fine, I'm fine. If you just repeat it, you know, you can like, get, you know, so Keep the game down the road. Yeah. But yeah, our whole mission is to just undo the work of uh, Blair... Uh, releaser of tyrants of the uh, team destroyer of worlds yeah that's true. bringer of destruction upon many i guess unless we figure out a way to permanently seal him away we're, we're doing a lot of we're, we're really just like ah oh. like you know we're clean we've opened up the door to the cupboard we might as well dust it a little bit you know what i'm saying let's permanently lock him in the what's the where did they put uh general zord can we get him there <laughs> the phantom zord <laughs> hey, can we get him in there <laughs> Surely, Possibly. right? It looked like there was a lot of space, is what I'm Surely. saying. Surely. Okay. Stuck him in a Yu-Gi-Oh card or some shit. So does Monk make a big banquet for Astral Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're cooking up everyone's favorite food. Hell um yeah. There's like the scent of burning lavender, just as a threat. <laughs> it's quite pleasant to everyone except one. Lavender's um, real quiet since that's happening. Um... Have you, you know, like in Lilo and Stitch, where Stitch pulls out like the cake that's the entire oven? <laughs> like we've just got that whipped up, and I'm like, I promise, there's no silver in anyone's options except mine. Uh, and yeah, so we're all at the table. Everyone's got their own special dish and like three portions of it because <laughs> we really went all out today. Yep. Yep, you are all banter and have a good, good astral day. Hell yeah. Yippee. Um, mm. Astral day. Astral day. What is, what is the origin of astral day? So we're in the uh, astral is, is it when astral went off? The... It yeah. was, <laughs> yeah, it's a day commemorating astral. Like, where it's, its origins have actually been lost since it was, I mean... This could be wrong. Roll me histories if you want to dispute it. Hell but yeah. it, it said that it's basically been a holiday since Astral was around. Okay, see. so it's it's a pre-sea holiday. Uh, history. Yeah. I thought Astral wasn't... Uh, uh, who was the god that ascended recently? 
Oh, that was Tarot? Was he recent? Um, recently was Barn. Yeah. Most he recently. Was, he was yeah, just some okay. guy, though. Yes. So, theoretically, could be any of us. Yeah, right? I'll drink to that. Hell yeah. Who can we get? <laughs> you could be God of Rats. Yeah, right? The rat aspect. <laughs> oh my god, you've heard of a rat king. Has he seen the rat god? Rat, rat god, rat god. <laughs> Cast um, mirror image, and it's rats. just a bunch of rats. views all the tail the rats. around. <laughs> no, you're the rats. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have part in this. I like to think that, like, yeah, all the previous astral days, like, bless dad or grandfather or parents were always like oh sorry i have this really important business call i can't make it yeah well it's like oh astral day is a holiday that everyone celebrates except on golf Rush, where it's just like work just the holiday. Get, most people most people have work <laughs> yeah <laughs> damn so i'm like oh my god astral day i've heard about this <laughs> i've heard stories You know, you so never is it um, them, right? time for the exchanging of the, yeah. the gifts? I was gonna say, like the little red packets. We're <laughs> <laughs> all dirt poor, <laughs> except for except for Kuro, who has <laughs> the entire backlog of our inventory. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I just give out gifts. I'm like Santa Claus for the ship, so like <laughs> Kuro hands out you know debt. He hands take, out if you take out debt. if you take out the equivalent gold or whatever, you can you can give out presents. Why not? <laughs> um, um, yeah. Who? Uh, sorry, not who. Um, oh yeah, who wants what plant to suddenly be alive? alive. Consciousness. I don't want any of the plants to be alive. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me, more, let me just do. Let me, let's look up a, a secret Santa. Yeah, I was just about to say. I literally, fucking bar for bar. Can we get a secret Santa calculator? And just the six of us. Six of us. Sasha's playing. Like, yeah. Well, Garen. <laughs> well, Garen. Yeah. What, what, yeah, what, what, what about Bomber Pole? The bomb, bomb doll and oh. old bomb baby. I don't that know. Not in this dog that gift. Hey man, there's two of them. There's bomb doll and a bomb baby. They're, oh, they can see each the, other. Okay, okay. Options for presents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bit of dead mouth. So it's like one, two, three, four, six. There we go. Continue. All right. Continue. Oui. Uh, let's go Christmas. Do you guys ever read through your, read through your class abilities and go like, oh shit, forgot about that. I <laughs> can drop time. poison fireballs. This <laughs> That's crazy. Why have you never do one that? now? There's balls of poison. I can just... God damn it, I just need to, I just, no, no. let me just get a fucking list, please. Yo, I can drop a cold fireball, but the text of fireball still says it ignites everything. So I'm like fucking big chill. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so excited for, I think it's level 10. Yeah, because <laughs> we finished the campaign. But you mean yeah. ultimate big chill, right? Because big chill yes. is so cold. Fire so cold it burns. Um, Isabel wouldn't know who that is because she doesn't watch Ben 10. <laughs> Do we all remember why? I had this written down because it was so entertaining. When we were planning our D&D characters, Isabel told this story. Would you like to say it, Isabel? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> she said that the floor is yours. She stopped watching um, Ben 10 when she was a child because she had a nightmare where Vilgax came to her house. <laughs> Vilgax, not known for his house calls of 10 year old girls. <laughs> well, to be, to be fair, that's the show, isn't it? <laughs> it is, you, you'd think, but he's like busting down Ben when he's like in the middle of his like trailer camp in the middle of the, like Nevada or something after taking out like an alien mothership. Not like <laughs> when you finish your day off at like girls college. <laughs> hey, but what if you know? Like, well, he, he was he was on Earth. He's he's a he's a planetary. Best. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. He's like a planetary third at worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Well, and he's like his first move is like fucking door knocking at all the students of like fucking Saint Agnes's school for proper ladies. <laughs> what the fuck? So sort of school do you think I went to? <laughs> Well, you must have been pretty high up if Vilgax is visiting. Yeah, you. right? <laughs> Who was your father, the king? 
Supreme Emperor right? of Earth, apparently. Yeah. I got to know like that feeling. Was, was the highest like plumber official do? we had on the Earth. <laughs> Did you stream up like a photorealistic Vilgax? Yeah. <laughs> No, it was not for the I, I've, I've all, all sent you your secret astral. <laughs> all right. Of who you get a present for. Shit. All right. So now here's the problem. How do we ask without... How do we go back in time and ask what, what, what people want? No, this is this just a soul read now. You can't, you can't ask. No, I, I've got something, but it doesn't exist. If I know I can afford something. I don't know if I can make it for sure. Oh, true. Just, just, yeah, just take it. Take out what you think is... It's, you know, it's, it's, it's Astral Day. Be festive. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't know how yep. much money it is, but I know what I want. So, I mean, because it's Secret Santa. Secret Astral. Person. Yeah, sorry, secret astral. Yeah! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, sorry, Santa's the off, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, does the person just open the, the gift? Or do I, or do we just, like, go through, like, ah, oh, I was your secret astral? I think, I think we'll just say, oh, I was your secret astral. Alright. Yeah. So, Avery, I was your secret astral. Uh, I have nothing in money because I've been grinding up my ties network. <laughs> uh, here's a legally binding document. You have my word as a ex Um, you... I know that you're trying to, like, you want to cook something up and you'll do anything to help me. Um, so here's a document that says I legally consent to anything you do to me forever. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, that's something for the fanfic writers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, to what? I have, I have nothing to give you except my word. So here's the most word I can give you. Incredible forever uh, consent. I, oh Yo. yeah, you can't buy that, bro. The treasure of is gonna go insane. <laughs> The treasure of Garrick uh, what pad is gonna explode. Like right just now. Yo, what pad? Avery pretty much owns me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rest of the campaign. You've just got a okay. collar on, no explanation. Every owns monk every night. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, right. shall we? Avery, <laughs> Avery, then yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, this is in this is in two parts. Um, obviously, I I got to do the traditional the traditional one first. So, um. No. Um, I've been working on this for a while. Garen, I knitted you this sweater. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a it's a classic Astral Day sweater, <laughs> but instead of the traditional symbols, the patterns are all like swords. <laughs> so cute. Hammers and anvils. And then... Um, <laughs> And then uh, I also made you this cool, uh, this cool sword necklace, and, <laughs> and it's one of the daggers <laughs> that's been like heavy chained into a necklace. <laughs> uh, it also uh, acts as um, emergency protection. Thank you. It's. You know me so well. <laughs> Alright. Blair. I know... I, I didn't want to make you a sword. Because... I know you don't use them. But I made you this. And he hands you an axe. Yo! Oh my god! That's... Basically, a sword, and then ends with an axe. Yo! <laughs> this is so cool. When the oh fuck yeah, did we have the time it. or the means to make this? <laughs> He's doing this I, when, did, when did you do this? Uh, just something. I had I had a little bit of, a wee bit of time that I just spent hammering it out. 
<laughs> during when bet between when your turn was going let me, and let me add it to my going. in the combat it does 1d 13 damage whoa that's so cool what, what the fuck <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the, the fuck? best part about that is because roll 20 isn't expecting it they haven't loaded the dice so it's going to be a, <laughs> a fair sword <laughs> And despite it being like the middle of spring, uh, Goran is just wearing the sweater. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of weather in the Astral Sea anyway. No, it is it's pretty warm. Oh, okay, nice. Lavender's blooming. Yep. Alright, Blair. Blair. Okay. Kavo. Oh, okay. I made you I, I open it. Part oh, wait, no, you would have opened it. Okay, I opened the puzzle. I made you a out of spare parts and various pieces of metal. I made you a, a gun. <laughs> a handgun. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's functional. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. Is it like elastic bands? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. <laughs> the I... trigger is a big red button. <laughs> It's dynamite strapped to a handle. <laughs> Thank you, Blair. This is the first time I'm celebrating Astral Day. I've, I've, I'm spellbound at this gun that you made. Even if it doesn't work, I'll make it functional. Hell you know yeah. what? Oh my god, it's the pistol whip. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Astral Day. Uh, roll me, roll me some mechanics. Uh, intelligence, Blair. Me? Mechanics and yeah. it's okay. That's what Let's it hope for the best. <laughs> I want this to be a good astral day. day. Oh my god, day. Astral die. Astral die. <laughs> die. <laughs> Mechanics, intelligence. I don't think I'm very intelligent. Actually. That's fine. Cool. Well, okay. never mind. Okay. Not good. Bad. Oh my god. Not bad. You're good. I think if you've done a decent job, I think it's a, um, you probably got this gun. That's probably, um, uh, let's say similar to a blunderbuss, but what? missed by a uh, seven. That's good. <laughs> that's good. So 2d8 piercing. Yeah, holy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I didn't know we could do that. I, I, I created a go in a mech suit. <laughs> yep. Pacific Rim just. <laughs> and I'm gonna call it the Blair Gun. Yeah. Do you have to reload Thank it like you. a blunderbuss? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> reload one. <laughs> <laughs> You're just there, like. Sorry, guys, give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch it the fucking ammo. Okay, Kuro. Um, alright. So, Grad. Ooh. Um, here is your, um, here's your gift. Your gift. Um, you, you your see, grift. um, grift. <laughs> you, I give, I give Grad, um, three boxes that of, like, the bottom box is, like, huge, the middle one's, like, a medium size, and the top one's, like, a small size. Mm -hmm. So, um, which one, which order, what order would you like to open these in? Just small to large. A small to large, so um, in the small one, you got um, a packet of um, different colors of chalks, Yarr. and they are it used them um, so they never run out, so you can use them forever. Yo, hell yeah! Um, the middle size box, um, mm -hmm. inside of it is just another box which I've used to inflate, <laughs> and inside that box is just another one until you get to like until you get to, to like a really small box, and it is just I'm very progressive, it is a whiteboard marker. And um, it's a never-ending whiteboard marker. <laughs> Yo. And, and there's a button on it, so when you press it, it changes to whatever color you're feeling right now. Yo. <laughs> and then the big one, um, I've just I've used um, you open it and it it looks like a bunch of scrap, but mm. it is a modification for your skateboard. Yo. So when you put it on like the front. And like at the back, so when you ram into something with the skateboard, <laughs> it hurts them. 
Yo, thanks, Karo. And this is your happy astral day. <laughs> happy astral day. Uh, you know what? Skateboard, I'm going to say, you can do, it's like an attack. Um, you use all your movement on, on the skateboard. Hit someone, you can do a D6 um, bludgeoning damage. And with a DC 10 athletic, acrobatics or athletics to stay on the skateboard Yo, and not okay. fall prone. Thank you very much. That just gave me an idea for like the most metal weapon of all time. It's like a skate, it's like a scooter, <laughs> but the sides are blades. So when you do a tail whip, you oh. have a chance of slicing off your own ankles, but you can use it aggressively. <laughs> it's like a was... misfire one. <laughs> <laughs> misfire 19. <laughs> Okay, Grant. Okay, uh, with that skateboard, by the, way, by the way, was that we've used a, a dexterity skateboard proficiency check in the past? We use that for probably that? dexterity, yeah. Yeah, perfect. I bet a skateboard, as in skateboard tools, proficiency. Um, yeah, just be dex plus proficiency. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just write that, write that down. I, I said All D6 right. bludgeoning, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. And <laughs> then a ready. DC 10 stay on and Sweet. not fall prone. Now, I'm not sure for this, I have Monk now. I'm not sure for this if I need to um, like work with Kuro to make this or buy it or try and make this myself. But I want to get, I've given Monk, I want to get him a plus one set of kitchen knives. <laughs> because enchanted knives, enchanted weapons don't tarnish or need sharpening. Um... And also... Do they? I want. Well, basically, I want to be able to plus one. I, I, who's I, I'm always working collaboration with Hell Brad, yeah. man. You know, I'll, you... I'll, I'll let it. I'll let it happen. Oh yeah. So the plus one is like when he makes like a cooking, a chef roll or something like that. Yeah. So when he makes a spring when he, roll. When he cooks and gives you all temporary hit points, you'll get plus one. Yo! I'll give Wait. that to give that to Monk. Happy Astral Day, my friend. And thank you very much, uh, Kuro. You can just see Monk's eyes fucking widen as he looks at this nice set of knives. Yo. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, he's just playing around with it. Like, yeah, I'm, there's so much danger in this man's hand. Hell yeah. Who's, who's, okay, is that everyone? Yes. Okay, who, who's, if didn't have a mechanical benefit? <laughs> and Goran. Avery yeah. doesn't have a mechanical benefit. Uh, yet. Um, <laughs> Garin, Garin gets uh, resistance to cold damage. <laughs> why not? Uh, He's just a dude, why not? You know yeah, yeah, why not? That's fine. <laughs> while wearing the sweater. Yeah. And he also has um, a dagger available to him. Yes, he has one dagger <laughs> on, his, on his person at all times. <laughs> you know yeah, resistance to I like how it's like... Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sort of yeah. <laughs> cold resistance. And I have a binding contract for unlimited pranks from anybody. <laughs> you have my word. <laughs> I, I don't know how to make that mechanically important, but you know. It's, it's, uh, not, well, we've no, just no, it's literally <laughs> just like, hey Mark, do this for me. <laughs> it's for it's for the greater good. <laughs> for, the, for the greater good. For the greater good. So, say ah. Uh, oh. What is this? And it's just like the spiciest hot sauce at the time. <laughs> it just felt like a film in it. Just say. <laughs> Remember that one time we had the pilk? Yeah. Now it's aged. Drink it. <laughs> It'll kill you. No That's... worries, boss. <laughs> I don't know how you make I, a Draco I'm lich. Fairly certain, if you die, you'll be killed of the lycanthropy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. So, okay. good Astral Day. Happy Astral Day. Happy Ooh, Astral Day, gamers. Happy Astral Day. Do we all have like the paper hats on as well? Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> I like we all like read out the little uh. The little except they like, since are they just like. Paper hat with like long tendrils coming off of just paper. <laughs> but they look more like the jester's crown than a like regular crown. Awesome. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, this is bad. So I don't now. I'll tell you one thing, just off the route before we go into the next scene. Not a fan of how we're in a combat map for our ship. <laughs> That's. <just, laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything. So who's <laughs> who spent the spell slot? Why today? do I hear boss music? 
that was oh me. good point let me change the music uh, <laughs> uh i'll i'll music? i'll drop my um a first level spell slot okay cool to do that good to know uh, today... it's astral day man it's no longer astral day oh shit Satch wouldn't kill us on Astral Day, but he no, totally would on Boxing Day. Ago. I like to think like all the enemy ships were like very close to us, but they all also stopped at Astral Day. Yeah. They honestly they might have. If if we're being honest, they might have. Alright, Night Fang. I know you've been wanting these, so I got you a pair of rusted handcuffs. Oh, these <laughs> are my favorite, they are. <laughs> Alright. Let's go kill these guys on this fucking tugboat. Okay, um, you hear something coming over the communications, the sending oh, array. Sick. Holy shit. Peaceful, peaceful. Wouldn't it be terrible if we used our setting stone for this array? <laughs> <laughs> you what doing here, hello? Uh, um, this is prison is... transport 09 CF 15896 M. Identify yourselves at once. Oh shit, that's us. Am I on comms? Um, I think that Avery is closer, but okay, good. You're probably Avery in the same close. room. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll just look. We just look at each other like they do in fucking Rogue One. Like, do we lie? What do we? What do we? <laughs> We're not breaking the law. We're we are legal. Um, we, we are we are mostly legal. Is that um, number? I don't. Did we end up I, getting that like fake. Fake yes. You, the do. problem is I'm not on my computer, um, you, so the registration number I gave. <laughs> it's also, not well. Uh, you didn't get a you didn't get a fake one. You just made one. Oh, you get a, That's just the one I made up. That's written down somewhere. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I wrote it down as well. Um, but what if we rat scratch? <laughs> what if we um the number that they gave us number of a prison transport? Can we do we recognize what sort of like company or star that hails from um kind of like... roll me a history maybe or history. is there a fucking sailing ship i oh, say sailing proficiency avery oh sailing proficiency yeah just Let intelligence with uh proficiency for being able to sail so that they so they won't care that we that our vehicle identification number is 73hk982148 uh -huh. wow. they won't mind um, we'll give it a second. I think it's just intelligence and proficiency, Avery. Yeah. Is it day 280 now? Uh, it will be day... Yeah, let's say 280. And when is our... Because the, the printout isn't there anymore. The, uh... Uh, it'll arrive at uh, 300. Uh, so when's the big day? The uh, Balen Award? Oh, uh, two... 340, I believe. 340, okay, phew. Yeah. Uh, with an 11, it, you know, you didn't, you weren't expecting to hear anything, so you didn't really catch shit uh, enough to be able to identify it. Shit. All right. I guess also, the echo. I have no memories anyway. <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. I guess we just tell them where the echo, and we're just passing through. Um, yeah, uh, I'll respond. Uh, greeting, uh, prisoner transport, uh, string of numbers. Uh, this is the civilian vessel, the Echo. Uh, we are just passing through the area on the way to uh, Zone? Zero. Zero. Uh, over. Halt at once. If you come within our range, we will. Uh, no, uh, you're good. Don't worry about it. Now, Avery, <laughs> there's two of us here. Yes. There's no real time to make a make a make a decision. Do we look into that? Um. Y yes, <laughs> I'm gonna reply. Uh, hey, prisoner transport, string of numbers. Um, <laughs> this is the echo. Uh, sounds like there was a little confusion over there. Is everything all right? <laughs> a little confusion. Uh, everything's fine. Just keep moving. Is um, oh, prison, Satcher, prison right? Prison right. Is this the same? Right. Is this the same voice? Um, throw me an insight. Insight? Yep. Incredible. Insight, incredible. I'm not actually trained in insight, never mind. Still. 18. Oh, wow. 
Um, but yet, eighteen. Um, yeah, same voice. Same voice. Yep. This is yeah. one million percent. The prisoners have broken out and they've hijacked the ship. Now, could we ask them? Say, hey, we're not cops. Catch you later. <laughs> or do we have some divine that, like, I'm just thinking, what if, I'm just looking at the odds, what are the chances that there's, like, a Hunter's Guild member on there? <laughs> I mean, in prison? Certainly. What was that, Isabel? Where's your microphone? Oh, I'm not. Sorry, I forgot. I had to hold up my microphone. <laughs> I have a 200% that blew my ears out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what if something is like inter? I'm not part of this conversation, am I? So I can't really. You can be. Oh. Nope. She's okay. not allowed. Um, what if something's oh. intercepted the comms, like um, you know, like a cyber criminal, but in radio, <laughs> that and like a good and they just want us to fuck around <laughs> and start driving and then get shot, and that's why they've intercepted the yeah, comms. Yeah. 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 Um possible oh if it's a tyrant or somebody <laughs> and he's like oh here's i'll take him out i'll get them into le a legal dispute with the fucking <laughs> yeah exactly maybe it could it, he would do it um uh I'm just hey what prisoner a transport a string of numbers um we're gonna uh this is the echo we're going to approach uh please confirm uh, if we are safe to do so cough twice if you're in danger <laughs> no 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 danger here it's all good no, you, i wouldn't even need to worry about it really just keep keep on keep on trucking now trucks did you say keep on trucking any insight rollers we we did an insight roller and it's the same dude he's all happy yeah is it <laughs> yeah what's that what's a roll for just are they take? Are they hostage? They sound like they're taking hostage. That's an insight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I do one of the a hostage right. check? Uh, cool. What? Did, want to roll inside? Do you want to help me with inside? Never mind. Uh, I'll help you. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Let's roll. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. a nat twenty. <laughs> if you'll play that. <laughs> you know what? You can detect a slight. This might not be the same person. This might right, be someone yeah. putting on disguise. This might be a prisoner, perhaps, who's just recently broken out of the ship, taken the helm, and then started talking? Perhaps. Um, it could be anything. It could be the tyrant. Okay, it looks like their weapons are on the front. Oh, uh, nice. If that's no. the case. I'm zooming in like a fucking satellite camera, like the boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? And then... All right. All right. What, what if we approach, like, this way? Um, it could be good. The only downside is that ship's four times the size of ours and built to transport prisoners. So that means they're getting not... attacked. Is it built to have weapons, though? A million well, percent, has, right? It looks like it has two weapons on it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've got one max. Get that turn order out of here. Anyone just gonna? <laughs> can, can I look to see the the weaponage? Um, probably perception. Weaponage? Yeah, that's the one. Actually, no, this will be a scan on the Echo. A scan oh. check. And the Echo, no, just give me a perception. <laughs> the wisdom. Scanning with like, my eye. That's going to be like, the wisdom's so good, but that was my wisdom. Yo. What do I see? Um, you can see that basically uh, long range cannon here, less long range cannon here, communicate, like very strong communications on the top. Um, this does do sound like a strong communicator. Well, we're in, we're in the ship. We got to make a judgment call now, Avery. Do we get involved? Who built that ship? Who built that ship? Yeah, true. Is it a Blair Reed one? Because you could own it. Um, um, would I know the blueprint and the? Probably me a the intelligence Architecture. mechanics. Okay. Give me the specs on the ship. Yeah. What do we? Is there like a, an exhaust port that I can shoot a photon torpedo down? I want the 3D printing file. <laughs> yeah, give me the SDL. I'm going to make a little bunch of little 14. ones. 14. You you would definitely not know. This would be highly classified information. Um, do we um, get involved with the prison break? 
Well, well, yeah, yeah, alleged prison break. Do you we help the why prisoners the or do we help the prison guards? What if we, what if we suggest we have a prisoner that we need taken <laughs> off our hands? And they just transport it for us. And so we sneak up on, we sneak aboard that way. Interesting. Um, well, again, I, I want to have... go. Why do we need a sneak aboard? Sorry, yeah. I might have missed the memo. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was gonna say, can we do a quick cost-benefit analysis of getting involved here? We need to save the world, and if we die in the middle of the ocean because we <laughs> were interested in a bunch of dudes who didn't pay their parking fine... I was just thinking we need to decide. Guys, what if they're innocent? Hey, did you what guys is... halt at all? Um, uh, he told us to halt. Yeah, but yeah, did you? And then, then said keep going, so I guess we keep um... going. <laughs> Up to you, Avery. I'm we gonna to say, now. I'm gonna say, uh, we slowed, slowed down, but we didn't halt. Okay, I'm just gonna move you. There we go. Now, what's interesting is I don't want to get in front of their cannons. Yeah, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna turn at least on the forty-five. These are Give me criminals. Out. Can we set the ship? <laughs> no. I don't think I'll play that <laughs> one. If we do, and it unsets, we just drown. <laughs> we don't drown, we burn. It's very different. Ah, sorry. Yeah, it's quite... Well, not, you, you burn before you drown. Not you. I not, not, not me. I'm built different. I can't hold my breath for that long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally immune to radiant damage. Drowning, not so much. Instant drown. I drown <laughs> immune to radiant on the water. damage. Cannot swim. Um, alright, but what if the prisoners need our help? Oh, well, I mean, if they need our help, in what sense? Like, because they are criminals and they're going to prison, but they want our help because they don't want to go to prison? Well, yeah, fuck, the, fuck those pigs. But, um... well, you could, yeah, we, I mean, we've, we've taken a very anti-man stance, which I'm, which I'm, well, hang on, and a very anti-establishment stance, <laughs> which I'm all about. Anti-grand man stance. <laughs> which I'm quite, which I'm, which I'm all about here, but... We still don't like like murderers and shit. <laughs> well, I mean, we are murderers and shit. We don't we, like you know. There's some ne'er do wells. What if we just ask them, "Hey, are you guys good criminals or bad criminals?" <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I feel like asking the prison ship if they're criminals or not. Weird. Cool. Yeah. Should we? Should we just be like, "Hey, gang, um, we're just gonna go about our business. Good luck with everything." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, out of sight, out of mind, you know, like... I just don't want to get blasted, really. If they... If, like, ten sessions from now, we find out, like, a key lead was assassinated by, like, a prison break gone wrong, and it's these guys, fucking... It, oh, look, I mean... We can't... Well, we, we can't... Shit. We can't wipe out a ship just hey. because they might be a problem later. Hey. Like, surely it, wouldn't, we wouldn't fall in the first ship combat of, like... We would. After getting all our things right. Absolutely, we would. It, it'd be pretty funny if we just keep BK right here because we all run around. <laughs> no. Um, oh. Well, we, we just we, mind we, it we up. We predict their movement. This. You set one of us, and then <laughs> when they come into the into the square we were on, reset, <laughs> and then we're on the ship. Yo. Should we should we at least ask if they know the know about the tyrant? <laughs> yeah, because what if they think we're cool? What if we think they think we're heroes? What if what if they're working for the tyrant? What if we play a game with them and like well, that's we a terrible we, like... idea if we ask them if they know about the tyrant <laughs> and they say yes? I, I'm better right. just right by you know like what? Yeah. All right. How about this? Um, we need to do our due diligence. Yeah. What if we that... ask if anyone from there is from the hunters guild? And if they say no, we just keep going. All right. <laughs> Why do we want to contact the hunters guild? No, we just want to know if any, any hunters guild members on the ship. Okay. And we just, and if they say no, we're fine. We keep saying All right. Um, all right, I'll ask that. Hey, uh, prisoner transport ship, string of numbers. This is uh, the Echo. Once again, we were just wondering, do you have any Hunter's Guild uh, members uh, on your ship? Uh, yeah, no, probably. I don't know. Some, some of the prisoners might be. You know how it is. Monk? <laughs> uh, wait. Actually, Bug, this is a great point. Um, do you do you have any thieves, Khan? 
Oh, because he's he's a monkey. I mean, I I, I talk in thieves uh, like I can. <laughs> you talk thieves in can. thieves. Thieves can. <laughs> Speak thievenese. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you hop on the radio? Lay out a bit of that. Do, oh, then... do we want that? Do we want to do that? Or do we want to just skedaddle? Well, I don't want. To, I kind of. I'm in, I'm intrigued. I don't want to ignore what Satchin has prepared, but at the same time, the ships have health bars, and that makes me think it wasn't a get on the prison ship. Oh, you prepared. could definitely get on the prison ship. I, I do have that prepared. Oh, incredible. Let's go. I love boarding. Let's board the ship and fuck them. And what? <laughs> think... uh, excuse me? Board oh, the ship and what? <laughs> what are we doing with like, the ship? Like, figuratively, you know, like... You know, not actually fuck on it into that, I eh? oh, yeah, Grant, do you do you want to start making uh, astral cartography calculations as you're doing this? Yeah, yeah Grant, yeah. I need I need ten ten of those from you right now. Ten of those astral cartography checks? Yes, please. No no that's not what he meant at all. I need oh. ten successful ones, thank you. Okay, well I got a natural twenty on half of them. Alright. Is that enough, Sachin? Are we good? Um, oh, I don't think you've gotten. Are, are you doing this before? Like, as you have you stopped and making a bunch of calculations? What uh, is this for? Stop and make a bunch of. Have you read what the Garikeshi Drive does yet, Grant? Oh, we have that. Yes, I know we have the Garikeshi Drive. I didn't know we had the. Yes, I've I've put the stuff in the Echo. Um. Yeah, it's facilities. Uh, okay. Yeah, right, test you drive, you can teleport forwards a day worth of travel, but leave your ship unable to move for a day. It requires 10 successful astral, astral cartography calculations before teleporting. Once the teleportation has been completed, the pilot can activate the teleportation as an action. Oh shit. What's the calculation? Uh, I think it's your action or bonus action to calculate. To, do, to oh, try and okay. do a check. So you want me to start <laughs> working on that? <laughs> yeah, All right. Satya just said, um, he said a bunch of like math questions and he has to complete it within the. Wow. <laughs> it's mathletics. The <laughs> yeah. He just sends him one of the like the year eight entrance exam practices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did they get progressively uh, harder? Like, uh, uh, all loops are dupes, but some troops are dupes. <laughs> they say, oh, it's like what year level it is, is how many uh, successes you get. <laughs> <laughs> It gets harder for like the tenth one is like a fucking beauty like Yeah, I'm sending you just my math my like <laughs> yeah, don't math. Me your shit. I don't want your fucking Taylor series. It's a fucking um, fuck di double different <laughs> No. I'd rather do ten fucking two digit multiplication questions. Um do we wanna do we wanna request to speak to the Hunters Guild members? So tell I do you want me to start cooking with the Garakeshi while you do that? I feel like yeah, they're not that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe if you drop some thieves con into the request. What if the guy's just like, what, what, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, then we know he's a fucking ruffian. Well, like, the, the, the thieves con is like a thing that people don't speak for a reason, right? Yeah. Do we do we need anything? What are we looking for? Maybe they have something we want. Are they, are they holding Megalobal? Oh, I want some money. Oh, uh, well, there's no world they call Mangaloo Wolf. Do we need anything for Pilk? Oh, <laughs> uh, do you reckon? Uh, we can, uh, they don't know what Pilk is. We stole it from Vecna's fucking library. <laughs> <laughs> do we have all the ingredients for Pilk yet? We just need some coffee we've or got, something. No, we just need milk. I forgot what we're missing. Hang on. We're missing sugar and milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we can make it's, Pilk it's real so soon. so close. Do, we, oh, do yeah. we want to ask if they have sugar or milk? But, because then we become liches. And you know what they say, liches be crazy. <laughs> liches um, be crazy. I would like to. Oh, sorry. Um, you were you're doing anything? Oh, what were you I thought we were going to hail them. I was going to say, I would like to make a cartographer's, a uh, astral cartography yep. calculation. Go ahead. Can I? Do I have time to, like, enhance ability before I do that? Or is that. Um. Me. Uh, let me check. Uh, if you use your action, you have advantage oh. to make the check, but you can use your bonus action to make it as well. Is it once per turn? Once per turn. Okay, so yeah, I might as well just use my action the whole time. Yes. All right, yeah. I'll use my Achtong. Oh, to... Let me just move this shit. That's not my cartography. 
Okay, four. so that is four yeah, four way. successes. Wow. Uh, do you move the ship at all? Uh, yes, moving this way, which is two fifty because that's our speed. How does turning work with ships again? It uses um, some of your movement. Have, yeah. yeah, you have a turn speed, and then and you have that... to use that much movement to turn ninety degrees. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else you're doing? Uh, should we ask our neighbors for some milk and sugar? Yeah, why not? Mm, nah, the, the, on a prison we... ship, the, the quality's not very good, eh? Yeah. I guess not. Do we want to just leave him alone, get out of here? Yeah, let's get the fuck out. I, I, I think that would be a smart play. What if, what if they got satellite catted, you know, like... Yeah, what if we can, like, take their ships and put it on what our own? What if we can take their ship apart? <laughs> What if they go and do some really bad things, though? You know what I mean? Mm. Could it be worse than the tyrant murdering the world? No. What if they back off the tyrant in zero, though, and it makes our life? I fucking we just fireball. Well, right? you, you know, it, it's like the fucking sword. You know, like hindsight. You know. Yeah, it's we. So the choices here is basically: do we sink an entire ship? Full of potentially guards and prisoners, on the off uh, on for the likelihood for the chance that they could be a problem for us in the future. If I were to describe that situation to anyone else, I believe we would all agree that that was psychotic. <laughs> or, and this is me talking. Um, I think we let him go. And then, then, Alrighty, this, I'm sure this this the fucking wherever they're heading to, um, they can deal with it. You know. Yeah. Alrighty. Um... Isn't that the whole thing about this world? It's like they literally can't. It's our job. Oh. Yeah. Like, why the fuck are we the ones trying to stop the tyrant? But we started this at like level four. <laughs> um, can I do another astral while I'm chilling? Yep. Just while we're talking. Uh, as another movement. Hey, man, another Aaron. Turn. There's a, there's a fucker with like a plus 18 to, do, to his initiative out there. I'm sure he can do something about it. Yeah, right? It's fucking. They, 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 they literally won't. One success. They just choose not to. Uh, is is yeah. just an echo move forward? Uh, Echo moves forward. When we say they had long range cannon, how long range were we thinking? Long range cannon. me a investigation. You're right, you're right. Anyone want to brainstorm with me on this one? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm like Kuro good. I feel the most uh, math. Oh, in my yeah, life. I can. I can. I've got my eyes through the binoculars. I'm, I feel like I'm, you're investigating. I feel like you're invest. Binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Um, I feel like your investigation might be better than mine. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. It's, a, it's an eight, so uh... Can, I, can like... I help you with that one? Yeah, I would like some help. Okay. I'm 26, pretty good. Uh, long oh. range turbo laser battery. Its range is 2400, 9600. I don't know how to tell you, I think we're in 2400. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I, don't I, think don't... We could, I don't think we could be out of range. <laughs> It just well, all of us drew the line, so like it just fucking opened fire on us. Yeah. Oh. Wait, he stole he stole my mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wait, wait, how far are they? Guys, if we get like a hundred and sixty meters closer, I can just shoot with the gun. <laughs> do not. Um, do not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump with the guns. Um. Um. Not bridge of transport, too. string of numbers. This is uh. Captain Avery of the Echo, we're gonna head out now. You guys have a enjoy the rest of your trip, and uh, good luck to you all. Yeah, yeah, you too. Have a good one. <laughs> we have like we have the buff, like prisoner's luck or something <laughs> to pop up. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we remember, this, uh, yeah. remember this kindness, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just gonna we're just gonna gun it. Okay, just continue. Um, if you'll allow that roll that I uh, jumped in. <laughs> yes. You, you got All up right. to nine before deciding to not engage. Um, so with the requiring 10 successful checks, is it, what's the time range before that cools down? Is um, it just from the actual position? Like the rough just that one combat sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not like something you can just keep 
Because it's like you going, okay, so we're here right now. And we need to get to here. And we need to do these maths to get from here to here in a way that's faster. Yeah. If we know... Yeah, because it's not like I can plan that they're going to be there. Unless I know that that ship's going to run into us there, then I guess we could do that. That we could plan from there out. Yeah, if you, if you know exactly where you're going to be when you need to be jumping, be then you could plan it ahead of time. But otherwise, probably not. Okay. And, uh, back to space casual theme number one. Oh, yeah. Oh, In hindsight, the awesome. fact that it was playing fucking like metal music while that scene was happening is probably not a great sign. Yeah, I'm glad I made it out of there with my scholars pack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and eventually you make it to zero. Sweet. What day is this? On day 300. Did anyone get a picture of the ship, by the way? No, I did not. Yeah, I just but... want to make sure we don't see the, that ship like in port when we come back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you knew you know it was face. It was heading a different direction than you guys. Yeah, okay. but ships can turn. <laughs> they can. That is especially true. if they've, especially if they're under new management. <laughs> what is? Why are we in? Why are we in? Why are we in zero again? There's a couple of, um, again, this is the first time I've been there. There are a couple of, um, things I need to pick up. Um, I was going to grab some chalk, but Monk, uh, no, but Kuro very kindly got me some, which was nice. Um, but there's, they do this great mani petty at the, um, port as this spa. Uh, and also it's got the Tyrant, uh, laboratory. Yep. There's also is a it... god situated on this star. Yeah, god it's here. the medicine god, right? Yep. Yeah. It's got a medicine sports. Do you think he took the fucking... What's it? The, uh, Nightingale Oath. Nightingale? No. Uh, the Oath? Which oath? The Are you thinking of Hippocratic Oath? Yeah. Oh, it is Hippocratic Oath. I think of Florence Nightingale. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How learned. Gale. I took the Hippocritical Oath. <laughs> oh, the, the night Florence Nightingale's Oath for Nurses. Yeah, that one. Uh, ah. Yeah. Romeo Religion. Oh, I'm... Am I religious? You're the one wondering. Uh, <laughs> are you not um, religious, boy? I, I believe in 17? Um, oh no, Plus, definitely not. Oh well, I don't think uh, it's helping us. Oh wait, I mean, I mean, I mean, everything can help us. Zradian's whole thing was um, opening up enough living creatures until she learned how the bodies worked, and then also using that to heal people. Okay, Perfect. so... I expect a hustle. That, the the like living great. creatures that they opened up stay living? Sometimes. Hey! That, that, that... Is, that, is that worse? Is that, is that worse? Um, I, have a, I have a sudden idea about how we might uh, cure a little issue that's going on with one of our members. I'm feeling it will definitely open up new doors for us. <laughs> but how, how will they open me up when I'm resistant to piercing? Oh, and true. Uh, Non-magical piercing. Yeah, but... What if they get some plus one scalpels? Plus one divine. <laughs> Here, take mine, and I just hand them my chef's knife bag. Back <laughs> no. is so sore. Is there any ergonomic way to sit on the floor? Uh, so, tatami mat, like the the facing straight up. From Caesar? What I can tell. Sitting fucking Caesar. Um... All right, so um, zero itself. Ashi, uh, you dock. Um, it's a it's a normal five silver a day for docking fees. Ah, oh, damn it! Take it out of no, my can silver. We pay gold? Can we pay in gold in two day increments? Uh, yeah, you can pay it when you leave. Guys, we don't have <laughs> we don't have all, we don't have um sh um inventory gold. Oh, we're out of gold. We, yeah, we've only got platinum. Okay. No, got, got, <laughs> all right, well I've that's not a problem. I've got gold. We can pay. We're paying um. We have to save every cent. Don't forget, we are in debt. Yes, true. <laughs> we have to be frugal. No coffees. Avocado toast is strictly off the menu. It's gruel and whatever monk feasts we get. <laughs> that totally. And your manic petty. Well, I'm excited to see what Pilk does in this canon yeah. canonically. We discussed something earlier today. Yeah. I would like to find an exotic armory. <laughs> Um, by the way, 
uh, Blair, my Manny Petty was booked uh, in advance, so that's fine. It's already paid for. Um, okay, so the bot. <laughs> hey, Ethan, the bot's not working. Uh, he's. Well, how would you, you find an exotic? I'm just gonna really? give everyone that one and to listen to. <laughs> we just let things go out in time. The reply to this interaction has already been sent or deferred. Until at, at input command interaction dot reply. Oh, that's, that's until exactly you can weird. fix it. I'm just gonna. I might blow it away. Man, I love the Hungry Jacks. Bad. Oh, I'm gonna close the fucking ship combat page so I don't, I don't have to read it. Yep. Um. So, Zero, look, as you look around, it's basically, it seems like a lot of sort of warehouses, and then you just go by a fully, like, a, just a massive hospital. What? It's just like a lot of, like, big, not the most sort of welcoming buildings, typically. Very sort of practical in its architecture. That's spooky. Good. Would it be like um, brutalist architecture? Um, possibly, but oh, not yeah. in a way that they've thought about it at all. They've just put it up. Am I able to make a, either a history or a carna to know what brutalist is? Um, sure. Give me a history. Did you ever take an art class in your in your uni days? Not in Soon. uni, no. Oh, oh no, I did, but not art history. Which class did Grant take then? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I thought you were asking Ethan. Um, <laughs> yeah, Grant would have had <laughs> Grant would have had some sort of like uh, some sort of art, like does maybe some sort of design closer to a design. Um, it's it you know brutalist. It's just um very practical um you know it shows a lot of the things that it doesn't like hide what it is made out of uh, like the materials it's made out of and it's very you know lots of stone concrete like bro this is some earth kingdom shit <laughs> uh here there's also like a lot of like just metal uh, like steel yes yeah, nothing super fancy here okay. except for probably the hospitals inside it's not the outside as much I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of chances to see the inside of the hospital. Um, there's a lot of, you know, people hanging around, like walking around. Probably mostly human. A lot more goblins than other places you've been. Um, you know, a couple of other Shit. races Shit. here and there. <laughs> yep. Guys, yeah, I wonder what a mind goblin is. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the ship, knave. <laughs> All right, we found our prisoner that we need to give up. <laughs> it's like FTL. Um, okay, great. Using, uh, using Blair's ability, um, I, uh, I would like to find somewhere that sells, uh, medium armor. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> Where can I find medium armor? Uh, you can easily find a shop that sells sell medium armor. Incredible work. You get that really just the where can I find I have a medium GPS. armor? Great job, Tim. You go straight to like the markets and find the armor salesman. Who could have sunk the markets? Sorry. <laughs> I am enjoying this two frames of visible that I'm getting. <laughs> I don't what? know. If how many of you have played like a visual novel but you know when they get mad at what, and then they like flail around a little bit like that that's what it looks like Isabel's doing oh, she's I literally it. did not move when I said that does Phoenix Wright count as a visual novel yeah she does yeah 100% okay. that's, it, well it's certainly not visual novels a bit weird I did not realise like, my video was stuttering because my video is fine on my end so uh, it must be a problem with all of you alright I, I think that is one of many you can find oh. a goblin he's got all this armor hanging up behind him. Goblin sized? Uh, <laughs> mixture. Okay. You would assume some, surely. <laughs> Is that Splat Glat? That's Splat Glat. Splat Glat. Great to meet you, uh, Splat Glat. How are you today? Doing fine, see? Ah. <laughs> oh my Good god. Monk. Good <laughs> monk. Uh, hello. Uh, I have a strange request. What can I do you for? 
I am in the market for some armor of the medium variety. Mm. Um, however, I have an aversion to armors made out of metal. Do you have any not so metal, perhaps scale uh, uh, scale mail? I have something that's similar to breastplate. I call it the flesh suit. Oh, well, it's... <laughs> okay. The flesh suit? I'm listening. You have my I'm... undivided attention. <laughs> I would love to know more about the flesh plate. It's just leather. <laughs> um, so he, he brings it out. It's like a shirt, but made of, like, sort of muscles that have, like, been taken off something. Thick. Oh, oh a big ick. It's, it's a muscle shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Literally muscles, like no skin, just muscles. You're not wearing that in the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can put cl I can put clothes over it. Can I appreciate? Oh. Can I appreciate like the butchery of it? Oh, it is magnificent. Not to this. You won't even. Gun. You won't. Does it smell? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it reeks. Yeah. It's okay, we can press digitation that away, that away, right? <laughs> oh, we'll see. I'll have it full of flowers by the end of the week. Oh, true. Animate it. Can you animate it? 450 gold. <laughs> 450 Four gold. 50. Um, and don't lie to me. Is this just as good as a breastplate? Exactly as good. <laughs> Can I roll inside? Yep. <laughs> What's your possible um, Thank you. Thank you. Um monk for helping me with this inside <laughs> i'd surely be able to tell like like i've butchered a bunch of things in my life yeah um a 12 fucking you don't know <laughs> could, be. <laughs> could doesn't, be it doesn't seem wrong all righty all right it's black lad um i'm gonna give I'm you a son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you, <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, Can I tell what sort of creature it was from? Um, <laughs> <Go on. laughs> Let me... I, I'm still... I'm actually looking that up right now. Uh, but they look humanoid. Nice. Romy, Romy, and, uh, Romy and Arcana. Oh, we're going to get thrown out of so many places if you're wearing that. <laughs> so we're <laughs> under stuff. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that fun. makes it even worse. We're so all we're wearing a muscle suit. What's the issue? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you think about you're, it topologically. You're constantly wearing a muscle suit. You need to relax. Yeah, why Arcana is not it, Chief? I lied. I oh my god. Best. I lied. King, yo, King. Tell me exactly where this came from. I want the date. Like, okay, it's got a barcode. Each piece itemized. It's like uh, Wagyu. Like, oh, yeah. like Sally. Sally was sacrificed this time. Okay, the name so of the, like, the you would know. You can you can detect that you're looking at this. This is from a sorrow sworn known as the Angry. That someone in Samael skinned and take it, cut apart and just. Basically hollowed it out so you can put your own arms through it and wear it. Oh, what the fuck's a sorrow sworn? From a what? A sorrow sworn. Can I arcana a sorrow? I guess we're all here. Why not? <laughs> um, do we know what a sorrow sworn is? Oh, your voice? So gross. Well, apparently I do, so... <laughs> Let me just yeah, get a picture of it for everyone Google. on stream. Can I Google it? Oh, no, sorry. Let me copy it. That's Ugh. what a Saurus one looks like. Ugh. I hate that, but it's kind of cool. Um, hey, are you more of a the hungry lore or the lonely lore? Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, I, I'm a kind of... The, I'm, a kind of I'm kind of a lo the lonely person, you know? Like They are sort of undead demons. Okay, sick. Where on earth... we? This is obscene. You can't be walking around looking like this. <laughs> Not looking like Keep that, in mind, the, the flesh, the, the skin is gone, and the rest is gone. It's just the muscles in the middle. The muscle. I might as well just be a dude then. That's fine. Yeah, like like a titan. Yeah, you don't even know. Wait, if we, if we, oh, if we, oh, I like... know. I'm <laughs> so aware. 
If he takes like fire damage, does he become edible? <laughs> yeah, that's that's canon. But aren't demons like resistant to fire and shit though? Yeah, that's oh, why it, it doesn't burn it. It just resists it. Fire um, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say yeah. no. Read like Egyptian. Color. I'm gonna say there's nothing to make this edible. <laughs> but, yeah. It's like leather. You can't just like crisp up leather because it was one. <laughs> Oh wait, here's Just think thing. of it as leather. <laughs> so uh, it's not the, it's not the leather part, it's the bit. There we go. Um, it does not That's make necrotic. you resistant to necrotic damage. On account of it not not being the actual monster, just merely the the must the flesh of the monster. Uh, part, the part of the what constitutes it. Yeah, but still bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing while in No, just just armor. acts like armor. <laughs> So Look, I, I, I'm looking at this, do I think it's a high quality product, based on what I know? Um, based on what you know, here's the thing. Making this would be incredibly difficult to do. Because you, considering you have to kill us, you know, Soros Warner uh, uh, aren't easy to kill. I... But it's, it reeks, it's, it's just inherently gross, and it's... Probably not going to fit Avery very well, so it's going to like sort of flop around a little bit. Hell yeah. That's, that's what the artifice is for. <laughs> um, guys, I, I don't know that I want this. <laughs> I've got a question for Avery. Yes. You you it don't wear like metal too, armor. This sounds like oh, too much no, effort for it. But... You don't wear metal armor. Correct. For, is this for an ethical reason? <laughs> Uh, religious reasons. Okay, and those religious reasons are completely fine. Oh, I thought you might have been allergic. I'm also, yeah, I'm allergic. That's if I can't, if I touch, if I'm wearing metal clothes, I can't tra travel through time. Am I allergic to silver now? Kinda. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're not having, you don't feel great right now. Like, the silver does not agree with you. We gotta keep it. You could stop. The I don't think I will. It's like antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of it's like you antibiotics. Get... Like it interferes with your drinking. Well, hopefully, <laughs> you're not gonna stop. Hopefully, it's not like antibiotics where you develop a resistance to it. They might it's do. not me developing the resistance to it. No, it's, it's the antibiotics. <laughs> it's the biotics that are <laughs> it's the uh, yeah that are becoming it's less anti. It's the curse. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Um. <laughs> All right, T. What do we what do we say? Probably not on this. I think it's pretty cool. I think I don't think it's the right thing for you. Not to the Balin Awards. I can't be seen with you if if I'm if I'm near Dorothy. Is it Dor Dorothy? Forgive me. We have a few names that float around. Which ones Blair's aren't, and which ones the Oh my Dorothy, god! You had it. I'm you had it correct. Her. I'm set. I'm set then. Dorothy, I am telling her. I'm sending you her. Well, you're not I here right now. This man. He just Get out of my mind palace. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in my brain palace? <laughs> I'm all a right. ghost. I'm everywhere and anywhere all at figure once. Out, figure out how to eat food before you w get in my business. Hey, dude, it's okay. expensive. It's like taking lactose pills. Okay. It's, it's not easy. Maybe we'll leave that, but then Grant, I have a new task for you, for us, the Brain Trust. I think, I, I think I've think i got a task as well. You go first and then I'll lay down mine. Okay, so we've got, obviously we've got, uh, we've got Cure Monk. Yeah. And we also need to come up with a version of Bark Skin that doesn't need concentration. <laughs> <laughs> what if, yeah, that's a good question. Um, some form of armor, perhaps. So, so we... some... We could sort of... now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. You go. You go. We might be able to make some sort. Of, find some sort of like iron wood or some sort of really tough wood, that's like still wood, um, and make armor out of that. I was thinking, what I could do is, I have a feat that allows me to um, see any like know where to learn something, right? Yeah. So yeah. either I either can find the information or I can find where to get that information. If we're looking for the lab of the tyrant what if i just ask some very esoteric tyrant knowledge then i have to go to the lab so i'll automatically know where the lab is you guys know where the lab is i've done it <laughs> hey, you guys were told that information do i not Man. deliver do i not Grant, deliver 
You're so you're incredible, Grant. I could. They don't hand out. <laughs> Let me find it. It's from August fifth, twenty twenty two. It was they underneath the. Uh, it's underneath step by engineering step H facility. Yes. Uh, also, monk, would you like to go find a doctor? Uh, we'll cure him. God damn it! I, I gotta ask. Do they do free health? Like, do they have health care? Uh, oh, roll anyway. me a. Oh, what would this be? Medicine. Yeah. Check, I guess it would be. A luck check. To medicine see. makes sense. Born. Medicine does make sense. My medicine is so good. How many dumb stats do Guidance. I have? <laughs> I didn't oh, it's like... Oh, well, how do I add guidance? Oh, how many yeah. dumb steps do I have? <laughs> what? What? Is that what you said? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. Ooh. 11. 11. Um, with 11, it's like, it's not going to be free, but you are a Celestial Federation citizen, so there's there's usually benefits to, like, being, also being, like, a Celestial Federation citizen when trying to do things in other, sort of, federated stars. Yeah, so, like, you okay. know, you know you could go to, like... If you went to Episteme, you could get a like education, but you would it would like cost you, you know, you'd owe them money, but it wouldn't be as bad as if you weren't part of the Federation. Uh, it might be a similar like thing. Like you're in Goldmarsh. Yeah, like if, you, if you're in Goldmarsh, you're paying a lot of money. Like the okay. Because you're in debt anyway. I guess, the, okay, so the slogan is just, at least it's not Goldmarsh whenever I... Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea, by the way, in Goldmarsh, that for when you when you're born, your your parents don't get the healthcare bill. The baby does, and so oh, you're definitely. born in debt. Yeah, you're born into debt. That sounds exactly right. <laughs> like everyone everyone gets everyone gets part of the bill. <laughs> everyone gets debt. It's only fair. Like the, the mother also needs a room, mm. and they aren't free. And sure, yeah. the baby also needs a room, so and they aren't free. So you got to charge the baby as well. And the father needs a seat. Exactly. Mm. Jesus, what if the father stands? Well, the father's not going to be there because he has to work. Well, he's yeah. <laughs> so does a baby, well, like two weeks after. He's taking up space still, so no, he needs to pay. There's, there's he's only up one oxygen. man that should ever be in the room uh, when a woman's giving birth. God. The doctor. Oh. I thought you were going to be like, Doctor me. Who. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What if the baby, because the baby's a boy? Are they 18? Mm. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Long gestation. Uh, that's going to be a record. <laughs> Have you ever seen Alien? Because that's what it would look like in there. <laughs> so where do you guys go? Um, yeah, maybe so... I'm going to... Anyone want to go to the hospital with me? Yeah, let's take let's take our boy to the hospital. Oh. I'll go. Maybe they can help Pure me death. too. It'll be bad for objects. <laughs> It would be very bad for yeah, us. Yeah. They might <laughs> ask me to leave. <laughs> They're like, oh, we can't have you here, sorry. We can't have a ghost in our... Right. What if they think somebody died? You you go into just the next hospital you see? Um, <laughs> uh, is there a specific one? Like St. George's Wear Rat Hospital? <laughs> <laughs> the Wear Rat Alien Saint? Yeah, how, how do we know which hospital's for which? Um, like some oh. go heart hospital, skin hospital, and others are just general sort of hospitals. They don't have anything. Blair, Blair, Blair we're hospital. Actually, you know what? We're I think for Blair can probably find you the um, yeah. hospital, the let's say rat, rat Richards rat Institute related. for Magical Curses. Okay, that's good. You're that's welcome. So handy. <laughs> Please. Are you technically I'm, cursed? Nothing. Who knows? Um, all right. Oh, well, we're data. going to the yeah. Riches insta. I a just spent a lot of time studying insta? maps yeah. when I was younger. This place <laughs> sounds expensive. Yeah. But how much less expensive would it sound if it was Riches Institute for Magic Curses? <laughs> Or maybe they'll take Gil. Institute. <laughs> maybe they take Gil, yeah. Okay, um, Ooh, you walk into point. it. It's not... Actually, it sort of looks like a hospital mixed with a wizard tower. 
That's good. Right uh, side, right side. Would I have like a special raid health card? You know, like a health insurance card? Um, yeah. You'd, on Epstein. you'd, you'd, have, you'd have health insurance. It might have expired though. It might have... Yeah, she might have expired. I, you, might, you might not there be, might be, might not be covered by it anymore. <laughs> You also had life pay. insurance, anyway. so, you know. Your premiums. Oh, yo. Yo, Did my can family the... cash that out? <laughs> yes, they would have. They would have. Yeah, that's how life they insurance would've. works. Yeah. You don't really... <laughs> life insurance doesn't go to the person who died. <laughs> can you be the prime <laughs> beneficiary um, if you just come back? Yep, there's a goblin at the front desk. I'm going to sue you them for draw, it back. Draw some... Yeah, it's technically yours. Wouldn't that life insurance... You could work with a life insurance company to see your family being like, what the hell? Yeah, this, he's not dead. They, they, that's fraud, no? <laughs> that would be fraud if you sued her up while being dead. True, maybe they can actually do some time for once. Nah, okay. they own the prisons. If there's any bail, it's actually just so inconsequential. Yeah, right. You, you walk into the receptionist reception area. Don't be the assistant, that can't be their name. I'm sorry, I... No, 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 sorry, Satch, that wasn't me saying they need a name. That I thought that their name was Doctor Assistant, like Eric with a K. <laughs> I thought... I thought their last name was Assistant. <laughs> I was like, this man is having me on. Yo, they look cool as shit. Oh, they're not sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, just a, it's a goblin at the desk. Bodies <laughs> on? Oh, yeah, they've dog... got they've got sunnies on. Hell yeah, laid back. Is there like a little waiting line? Do we need to take a ticket? Um, yeah. I, there's it's a couple of people sitting in the chairs, but oh, awesome. they're probably just waiting to be seen. Hello. Hello. Can I see a doctor? Um, fill out this. And they hand you like a clipboard with a piece of paper and a pen. How much is this going to cost me for the consultation? Um, are you a Celestial Federation citizen? Let me whip out my wallet. Uh, you are definitely a Celestial Federation citizen. Yep, that's me. Um, what, uh, I mean, it will depend on, you know, what you need. But a uh, general consultation will be around 200 gold pieces. <laughs> uh, Bro, this really is America. Don't catch you slipping up. Hey, <laughs> I... <laughs> The, the we, like, just to be clear, we speci specialize in like, you know, magic curses that are difficult to remove. If you just need a general uh, practitioner, this you might want to go down the road. It'll be cheaper. Uh, there. I'm, uh, I'm in the right place. Uh, cool. All right. All right <laughs> How much is right. in my wallet right now? Let me. Yeah, we can pull some stuff together. I got a little bit of scratch as well. I That's can... twenty platinum for context. Yeah, we can. Oh, we I can... have I I have enough cash on hand. Okay, okay cool. Uh, awesome. Do we pay now or after the appointment? Uh, just after the appointment. I'll just oh, fill, out, fill out the details, hand for me, and I'll, I'll set you up. Alright, uh, I'll take the seat over here and I'll fill and it if, out. And if not, yep. you don't charge. Yes. Let's see. Monk, are you pregnant? <laughs> are you or someone you love rat based? <laughs> okay, after, you know. I shouldn't be watching you. You, can, like you fill it out, hand it in, and then a couple... Um... <laughs> Mark needs some help with these questions. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, yeah. so you're, not, you're not pregnant. Um, do that. you have asthma? Yeah. <laughs> Are you on any existing medication? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> does silver count as existing medication? Oh, shit, I guess it kind of does. It's like a <laughs> it's home remedy, though, no? Um, cool. <laughs> any allergies? Silver. <laughs> I feel like yeah. that's a, a very transient issue, though. Oh, I don't know how transient it will be. <laughs> like, it's, 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 I guess it's an acute onset sort of thing, but, like, it, it, it's chronic. They're not going to believe you, by the way. When you when you write down your health and you write 69, they won't believe you. <laughs> I assume, uh, like, a D&D &D doctor would ask for a, ask for a, uh, your hit points. Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 20, how constitute do you feel you are? <laughs> Am I back or no? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, you're so back. We're okay. so back. We're so back. <laughs> All right. Can I go up to a receptionist once they walk away? Wait, what'd you say? Oh, once they walk away. I, I thought you said, the... and say walk away. <laughs> 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 
Can I go to the reception? Up to the receptionist. Oh, after after Monk sat down, yeah. Yeah. Hello, can I help you? Hi. Do you have anything that can help me? Anyone? Possibly, I can I can book a consultation for you. Why not? Let's do it. How much is that? Uh, you yeah. social federation citizen. Oh. Uh, am I? You <laughs> no. No. Um, no, I'm from Goldmarsh. By the way, do you take Gil? Um, Gil. They take Gil. A good question. It's probably the best place to do it. There's no way she can confer this. Um, mechanical yeah. Message. Yeah, we Whoa. take Gil. First time we get to spend the Gil. What if, what if her what if her account's been like frozen? <laughs> oh, the fact that she's dead. Nah, why would they bother freezing a the account of a dead person? You know, they would um, they would take Gil, yeah. Hell yeah. How much Gil would it be? Let me calculate that real quick. Dude, how how's Gil doing? Yeah, right. I was gonna say coin. the stock trade on Guild Gil must be such an insane. Uh, it should be. She just like writes down number, hands it to you. A uh, hundred grand. How much Guild do you have? I don't Not know. I can't good. read it. Yeah, you've you've Hang put on. in an awkward spot on the character sheet. Um, right. let Let's just see. say infinity. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it here. What's that? That's nine million nine hundred ten thousand. What the fuck? What? Where did you spend? I assumed you had. <laughs> yeah, I think you started with a has million it... gil. A million. Has, a... has it just been an investment account? I mean, ten million. Sorry. Ah. Oh, okay. Did you start I, with No, 10 I gave some. I gave some, or maybe I don't know. I gave some in the first episode. To mm -hmm. one of the employees who was <laughs> suffering from wage theft at um, the casino. Yep. And I was like, oh, here you go. Um, all right, yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. I'll do Remind that. Remind me not to Thank go ban for ban. Well, fill out, fill out this. Yeah, right? Yeah. Thank you. I go and sit down. Um... <laughs> They're gonna just gonna Hello, turn like, over. If they can cure me, I don't know if I want a cure. Yeah, do you just I just want to be able to eat and sleep. Well what if it's just like a like a self image sort of thing where they just teach you about like Yeah. Like body positivity, like you know, there is <laughs> nothing wrong with you. Uh it's perfectly normal to be a girl. Um uh, and you just have to learn to I don't love know if yourself. it's normal, but um, do you two it's need that any sort help? of thinking that'll hold you back. She she looks at Kuro and Avery. Um, hey, regular shopping list. Do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys go go shopping while split the party? <laughs> split the party. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Cool. I hope I don't die like last time. <laughs> I hope no. That'd be pretty um, bad. Um, what if I set one of us here? Yo, oh, yo. Monk that King? Beaver. Ah, yep, that's uh, me. Doctor's ready to see you. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, do you want to go in on your own? Do you want to bring one of us? Uh, uh, Blair's being seen later, right? Yes. Grant, man, I might need your... Alright, I'm with you, man, especially now that I've seen the fucking Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know if we need... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, right, let's, let's hop let's, in. Yeah. Step in, it's a human guy, you know, that thing that doctors wear in, in only in cartoons. White lab coat. Ah, uh, which one was uh, Monk King? That would be me. <laughs> right, have a seat. Um, and you are. Looks like Grant. Grant oh. Man. Sorry. Hi, I'm Grant Man. Um, okay, so what what appears to be, uh, who am I, what appears to be the problem? I'm like, I'm like his emergency contact in the form that he filled out. <laughs> yeah, right, you, you can get here fast as fire skateboard, so. Yeah. Keep flipping. Alright, or you, Monk. So, is, uh, how many days ago would it be now? 
Um, like 15? Let's see. 30. Oh, shit. It's two. It's 300 now. 36. So about a month and a week ago, uh, I had an unfortunate encounter with uh, this guy called Greg, and he passed something on to me. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm a, I think he was a were-rat, and I got uh, bit. So lycanthropy. Yeah. Okay, that's that's something we can do something about. Um, are you are you a natural uh, lycanthrope or is this just a curse? Uh, mind uh, mind if I check? Yeah, sure. He like puts I... his hand on the back of your neck and starts feeling around. Okay, yeah, because I've had some problems where some people have come in. You know, it's been activated by a bite, but they were also naturally a lycanthrope and just hadn't activated before. Uh, so what do you think? Cause so I you definitely feel, it definitely seems like you're, you know, being cursed, which we can do something about. Um, can I just get, what, what, what race are you? I'm a Wukong. Wukong, okay. Um, where are, what are the origins of the Wukong? From my parents. <laughs> are you <laughs> like, a, is it like a feed from the astral plane, from the natural, the prime material plane, from hell? Whereabouts? From like Hades, right? Hades, so uh, Fiend or Earth Elemental? Earth Elemental. Okay, let me just check. Uh, there's some stuff I probably need to ask. Um, so, uh, how would you describe your amethyst consumption? Zero. Perfect, okay, good. Um, yep, that's yep. that's the main question uh, right, that we have, okay. um, apparently. Um, <laughs> right. So, I let's give me a give me a second to check. He grabs like a book out of his shelf. Okay. Um. So what what would we need to feel like and th- power? And he starts word. going through this book. Okay. Uh-huh. Any 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 bad side effects? No, no, the one looks good. And he's just like pulling out different books, going going to W, and trying to find um. You know, any, any, the hell, hell is all gonna work. Oh, there's, um, I think, I think, uh, Zradian was doing, uh, dissecting a werewolf in a couple of nights as well. Oh, nice. Mm, so, werewolf alive. Not sure. I, I, I'm gonna be working, unfortunately. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Although, she would have gotten, is it like a ticket sort of thing? Uh, I think she'd probably just show up. Oh, nice. Although she doesn't yeah. do a lot of them, so they're they're pretty popular when she does. I'd imagine, must be pretty good at it. A lot of experience on that one, eh? Yeah. What would be the point of me rocking up to this though? Oh, just if you want to, you know, find out more about what you could have, what was happening to you. Okay, so I think I've got the concoction figured out. Um, it seems I've, I've checked to make sure the Wukong haven't any, uh, specific side effects. Nothing has been, um, you know, put in the book, but also hasn't been text tested greatly on Wukong. Um, it was where rat, did you say? Where rat. Where rat. Okay. So we, so that means we're not using wolf Spain yeah, because rat. that is going to be less effective using rat Spain. Okay, good. Was. Um, this, you know, mostly silver. We're using a silver needle because of course. Um, side effects, the main one, really dry skin for about a month. Oh. Um, you're going to want to moisturize as best you can. Even if your you know, fur gets all greasy, you're just going to have to do it. Otherwise, it's going to get you know, really dry. It's going to crack. Yeah, it's it's going to hurt a lot. It's going to be a bad time. So uh, try and moisturize the best you can. Drink plenty of water. Uh, mm-hmm. But otherwise, you'll uh, no longer be you know, a liking throat. That sounds good. Right, uh, give me arm. I'll give you the needle. Oh, I look at Grant. It's a good idea. Um, can I? I mean, just just quick insight check into the doctor. Is he? Is sure. he? Like, is this like phase three of his? Pl- Are we at the opening? Roll me an insight. <laughs> a B level fucking Scooby Doo thing where he like infects. He's infecting all the people. Yes, it's just complete like. No, he's 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 a doctor for people who get cursed by things in a magical world. See. <laughs> he knows. He's just. He's, he's knows what he's doing. I'll give it a thumbs up to to Monk. 
okay. like while he's while he's putting in the needle, I'll try and make small talk. Like, so if you had like a, a moisturizing shampoo, do you think that would work better than like a, a uh, moisturizer for him? Yeah, that would that'd like, probably be ideal, really. Um, this I might needle as well double up. I don't want to. Fucking yeah. stings. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going, yeah, it's going to hurt. Sorry, just 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 hold through it. It's. Oh, I'm so glad I level up my constitution. There we go, and he puts a little, you know, cotton and swab and band aid on. Just get right. pop. So that that should be all all done. Uh, just come back if if there's any if there's any side effects um, other side effects, just come back and we'll we'll uh, try and get on top of it. Awesome. So nice. there's nothing else I need to do apart from upkeep the drag skin. No, be... you should be all good. I just you know, perfect. The receptionist on the way out. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, Doc. Cool. No worries. I've got Have two things. Yeah. Everyone okay. Not. i got two things for that. Um, Monk, did you notice when we entered the room, you were standing here and I was standing up here. We just now naturally assume points of domination on a room, like watching the exits surrounding the occupants. And also, isn't it the worst when like a medical professional says, this will hurt? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> Normally they go like, oh no, don't worry, this this will sting a little bit, you should be fine. I, I had a guy once say like, okay, this is gonna <laughs> I was like, fuck, just put me under dog. <laughs> okay. uh, but what if they say that and it doesn't hurt and then you feel like an absolute tank? <laughs> yeah, like whoa. Uh, Blair Reed, I should be able to see you now. Hell yeah. How you feeling, monk? Okay. In pain, but it's it's fine. Alright. Blair Reed, was it? Yes. Um, so what, what seems to be the issue? I <laughs> just look at him. I'm floating. Is that the issue? No, I, I am dead. I'm a ghost. Ah, and what, what appears to be the issue? Thanks, thanks for letting me know. What's, what's um, the issue? I can't eat or sleep and I'm going a bit insane. Just, you know, it's the enjoyment you get from eating, I c can't. And also, the mental rest that you get through sleeping, I also can't. And it's a bit rough at the moment. Okay, so having trouble eating and sleeping. Um, let me just check a file here. Um, so that appears, that's perfectly normal. For, uh, are, you, are you recently deceased? A ghost your age. Yeah. Okay, like somewhat, that is. Like, would define recent for a ghost. Well, you know, it's recent as in, you know, last twenty, last thirty, last hundred, last thousand. Oh, very or... recent. Very recent. Very, very yeah. recent. Yeah. So you know, you'll notice changes that are occurring. Um, unable to sleep and eat. That's perfectly normal. There's actually nothing to worry about there. But I am worried because. Those are things I enjoy. Oh, I that... didn't think I enjoyed sleeping that much, but without it, you realize, oh boy. Right. Okay. That's that is a tricky one. Um, have you tried trying new hobbies? Oh, my life has changed a lot since becoming a ghost. Let me tell you. I I imagined it would. Yes. Are there any other symptoms I should be aware about? That like um, might occur over the next however long this lasts. So you'll probably get a, a version to uh, divine radiance. Um, perhaps yeah. uh, at allergies to holy water. Okay. Um, you know, if you're in blessed areas, you're probably going to feel uncomfortable. Uh, all that's you know perfectly Wonderful. normal. Yeah. Um, how long to ghost? live for her um well as long as you can you know a, a lot of ghosts get snuffed out a bit early by um clerics and the like but you know if i wouldn't go angering any any clerics uh but otherwise you'll okay. be you, you'll just keep on going right would, would clerics come after me just because i'm a ghost Depends on the cleric, really. Okay. Um, so there's nothing to kind of... Like, I got some orbs that let me eat, but there's nothing 
Oh, is they, no, they, they, I do, you want me to just prescribe some of those for you? Wait, is that the sleep drug? Oh, it's not going to work on you, but like, it's like the, the eating orbs, would you like me to prescribe more of them for you? Sure, that, that would be great. Perfect, oh, no worries. How, how many do you want? Is there like a limit to how many you can give me? Uh, not really, they're, they're, you know, they're not, they're just difficult to get, it's the main reason that you need to prescribe them. Are they expensive? Oh, they're just as much as any other medicine, really. Sure. Is, Big uh, Pharma living, is, is Big Pharma in this world? <laughs> I've got 10 at the moment. I've been like rationing them for special occasions. Um, yeah, however many, Doc. Like, I'm at your... I, I, need, your I do mercy. need you to give me a number. A number? Oh, uh, it's just... A billion, no. Um, do you know? Do you like repeats? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get repeats? Like. Oh, I could. Yeah, I could. If... You know, if you've come back, I can get you some more. What about a blank check? What about like okay, thirty. Thirty. No worries. He writes mostly scribble. Goes, yep. Just, uh, you okay, can get that from much. any pharmacist uh, nearby. Actually, we've got one in uh, just next door. If you go there, uh, they'll, know, they'll get you sorted well. out. So, any other um, issues? And there's nothing. There's nothing I can take the sleep. Sleep is a tricky one. Um, Magnesium. Have you tried meditating? Oh, that's um, yes, I have. Ah. Uh, that one, I've actually haven't had people come in. I've had an elf, actually I've had, I've had an elf come in saying they couldn't sleep. <laughs> um, but that was, that was more, you know, I had a similar conversation of going, that, that you get more time in the day. You don't physically need to sleep. But if you just want to sleep, uh, let me, let me just check something. Let me just, uh, just go to a book, just, hmm. Is there a poison that you take that instantly reduces you to zero hit points? <laughs> like a death potion. Yeah. P poison, if you will. Blair, do you want to live? Like, do you want to become alive again? I like being able to fly. It's pretty cool. It's used okay. a great effect in the past. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ask, ask, ask some questions. Um. Just tell me, you know, on a zero, not at all. One, several days. Two, more than half days. And three, nearly every days. Just, I've just some questions to answer them on a scale of zero to three, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, how does it describe you? Uh, do you have little interest or pleasure in doing things? <laughs> what was the scale again? Zero, uh, zero not, at, not all. at all, to three, nearly every day. Okay, zero. Zero. Okay. Uh, do you feel feeling down, depressed, or hopeless? Wait, zero is not at all, so three. Three, okay, so nearly every day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Particularly uh, at night, cause I can't sleep. Right, okay, okay. Um, so this one, I feel, I have. I would just have to ask, um, trouble falling or staying asleep or sleeping too much? Three. Three, yeah, no, I expected that one. Um, feeling tired or having little energy? Three. Three? Um, actually, is that, I don't know if you would, because like being a ghost, you still, you know, I don't know if you would feel tired, would you? Maybe it, she doesn't get mentally more tired. tired. Just, mentally tired. Okay. okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, or appetite or overeating. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. I, again, I know. Wait, I, poor appetite, yeah. Yeah, I no, I, I, I still hunger, so three. Yeah. Um they, they don't they don't specify these the different races that much. Um feeling bad about yourself or that you're a failure or have let yourself or your family down. Four. The sword. Three? three? Okay. Um, trouble concentrating on things such as reading the newspaper or watching the scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> the scrolls. 
Three. Three. Uh, moving or speaking so slowly that other people could have noticed or the opposite. Being so fidgety or restless that you have been moving around a lot more than usual. Three. Three. Uh, thoughts that you would be better off dead or hurting yourself in some way? Well, I am better off dead, to be honest. Tactically <laughs> advantageous. Okay, let me just let me just calculate this. So, I, I you may have severe depression. <laughs> it the fact oh, that fantastic. <laughs> the fact that the depression quiz has a question: Are you depressed? Is the exact same as Buzzfeed. What's your favorite <laughs> Avenger? Which Avenger are you? Saying. Out of Tony Stark, Black Widow, and fucking Captain America, which one's your favorite? And then you being it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so just sorry make it just raise this to you, though, Ethan. That's, that's genuinely how it works. Yes. Yeah. That's they the just real... ask you in 15 different ways if you're depressed. That's and you go, real... yes. And they go, you're depressed. <laughs> they're, trying to, they're trying to trick it out of you. Like, ah, oh, he got me. <laughs> right. I can, I can oh, book you in. I can refer you to a psychologist. Unfortunately, this is outside right. of my... Um, you know, wheel uh, wheelhouse. Unless you've been run into, you know, some sort of uh, joy sapping monster, or you know, being cursed with unhappiness. I have, I have not. Okay, I'm going to refer you to uh, a psychologist. They they do wonderful work. Um, but yes, uh, is there anything else? I can do it for you. Um, uh, no, thank you. Do your time. Okay. No worries. Uh, just see, just see the receptionist on the way out, and we'll, we'll okay, get you settled. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Throw the echo. Yeah. Off. Right, monk, you got you paid your two hundred gold. It was was it just two hundred for the consult today? Yep, just two hundred. Oh, okay, nice. cool. Minus two hundred. There you go. Let's get, let's get you some shampoo, my friend. Oh, oh god. Some moisturizing, unscented, because otherwise it's going to destroy your skin. True, true, but Hello. if I have it. Silver shampoo, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. Hit me with the bill. Uh, that'll be 900,000 gil. Ooh. I thought it was 100,000. I thought it was 100,000. Did well, yes, but then with the, pres with the prescription and the referral. If They'll uh, bring it up to 900,000. Done a dash, you're not gonna need healthcare. You're a ghost. Um, does that include you filling out the script or no? Oh, no, that's just the description. Okay. I mean, also. I, I take out my guild card. <laughs> yeah, just the crystal. <laughs> Maybe they get the other crystal, just, just happier. Yeah. Man, part of me is indignant right. about one of us getting ripped off, but the other yeah. part's like we're not spending it anywhere else. <laughs> Thank you. I think. Have a good day. You too. Ooh. All right. Well done. Very funny to me, absolutely. To get um. out for a depression <laughs> I feel like the poor appetite and overeating and the trouble like sleeping is so funny for a ghost to answer that yes yeah. I am depressed it's like yeah of course you, have a, you can't do those things Dude, the entire time that was going I was like damn imagine answering three for that couldn't be me though baby let's go <laughs> there's no way I'm depressed asleep all the time wait a second <laughs> okay. Rude split. Yeah. Um, did you want to fill the prescription or go to the psychologist as well? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll fill out the script. Okay, that'll be an extra. How many was it? Thirty. Yeah. That'd be an extra three hundred thousand. Can I go with gold? Wait, no, it doesn't make a difference because I'm not. It's, it's actually not worse if you came with gold with for us. <laughs> It's the fact that I'm not oh, well, a part of the Celestial Federation, right? Uh, yeah. Do your meds get subsidized too, typically? Depends. Typically, not with meds. Uh, it really depends on the meds. 
So 300,000? Yep. Okay. Oh, cool. I don't want to know how much the psychologist is. There's, because I don't think I've ever given Medicare this. All, all I know is whenever whenever I have anything that's prescription related, I go, I hand, hand it off to the guy, he walks off to the back, and then I wait for 10 minutes, stare, awkwardly staring at eye drops <laughs> and like fucking sanitary pads until he calls my name. Why are you staring at the pads? What was, what, it's the thing closest, because I got to be close enough to hear them, and if, that's just how they organize the store. <laughs> okay. I relate. Shall we leave it here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thanks for watching, people. I got more orbs. You did. Thanks for Twitch watching, Prime. people. If you have Peace. Twitch Prime, give it to me. Peace. And if you have depression, <laughs> just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs>